you can be profitable trading economic and monetary policy divergences. How? Let's break it down. So what exactly are economic and monetary policy divergences? Before we detail that, guys, my name is Ken Chigbo, and I've been in these financial markets for over 15 years now. I actually started my career as an analyst, so digesting all the key macros, the underlying fundamentals that were driving the direction of the assets that we are trading in these financial markets and relaying that information to traders to then become actionable in terms of trade ideas. So I know what the hell I'm talking about. So if we start off on an economic level, right? Economic divergence. If for example, you're trading any currency pair, say GU, you are effectively weighing up the UK performance versus the United States performance, right? Looking at things such as GDP, the growth, you're looking at the unemployment rate, the labor market, you're looking at consumer spending, all these things to then form a view as to whether is GDP stronger or weaker versus the US dollar, right? That's an economic level. And then if we've got the UK, for example, performing worse, um, and the UK is, uh, the United States, excuse me, is performing better. So we've got a worse performing um, economy in the UK, but a better performing economy in the United States. Potentially we have a divergence there, okay? One's bad, one is good, so that's a divergence. Now, when we then look on a monetary policy level, right, depending on how the economy is performing, that will then shape up a central bank's view, right, or, or their policy. So if, for example, the UK economy is performing worse, typically speaking, rates from the central bank will be lower. If the United States economy is running hot and performing well, rates will be higher. So that is a monetary policy divergence. We've got low rates in one economy, but high rates in another, that is divergence. And remember, follow the flow of money because uh, the rates are also the yield that a foreign investor gets on their money, right, when they're investing. So if rates are higher in the United States, more money is going into the United States. And how do we invest in the United States? We need dollars. So then you'll get people uh, uh, demand, a flow, a flurry into the United States and they need dollars. So dollar value will pick up the demand is increasing. Guys, you see all this information that I'm putting into this video, it just comes like that, right? It's second nature to me. And the reason being is because obviously I have that experience. Nothing beats experience in these markets. Uh, everything that I have learned, I've been able to simplify because a lot of information that's out there in the public domain is extremely overcomplicated and a lot of jargon. It doesn't make it easy for the everyday person, the everyday trader trying to learn macros, understand, you know, why is the price of spiked here because of this fundamental reason? I don't understand it because this, all this information is over, you know, complicated. But for me, all these years, I've been able to simplify it, make it easy and digestible and actionable for the everyday trader. And that's exactly what I've been able to do. And I've put together in my fundamental bootcamp course, which you can obviously check out if you're willing and, and keen to really level up your whole game. Uh, you, you can thank me later on that. Anyway, let's continue with the video. Now, what I want to do, guys, is give you a current example of an economic and monetary policy divergence with the pair Aussie Swiss. So AUD versus the Swiss franc. Let's break these down. So, guys, as you can see, I've got the Aussie Swiss pair up. Now, obviously, we've been trending to the downside for quite some time. We started to bottom out, as you can see here, between them, August 2023 to sort of February 2024. And then we started to pick up some pace. Really, in March, you see that big bullish candlestick trying to escape this range that we were in after bottoming out. Why did that happen? There was a macro fundamental reason for that, and that is divergence, monetary policy divergence. So if you, if you look here, obviously, as I say, that was in March. Now, I want to show you something. So if we go CHF, SNB, I want to bring up the Swiss National Bank, okay, and bring up their policy rate. Now, if you look here in March, look, they cut rates. They lowered their interest rates down to 1.5% from 1.75%. Okay, so they, there was weakness in Swiss, Swissy and strength in AUD. Okay, so AUD gained momentum versus a Swiss franc. So that was a trigger there. Now the divergence comes because if we pull up, go back to Forex Factory here and do a search, and we wanna bring up the RBA now to see where their current cash rate is. So if you look at the RBA here, look at their rates, 4.35%. So there's a divergence there. There's a higher yield being offered in Australia in comparison to Switzerland, okay? So there's a divergence. So this has a reason to continue to push to the upside. Now, I wanna show you something. The reason for this as well, why the central bank is um, why there's a divergence in rates is because of CPI. So if we go to CHF CPI, okay, inflation. Now, if you look, generally speaking, inflation in Switzerland is lower and it's been coming down and is expected to come down in the latest readings as well. So there's a lowering uh, in, in inflation. If inflation's coming down, then we can cut rates, okay? But if inflation's high, i.e. in Australia here, let's just show you, 
AUD CPI, inflation's high and it's getting, it remains sticky. If anything, it's increasing, which is problematic. So how do we counter rising inflation? We look at raising interest rates, okay, to try and cool down inflation. So that's what's expected at the next RBA decision. So if we bring up here, see when the next cash rate decision from the RBA is, and that is um, going to be coming up in August, the 6th of August. So these are reasons, fundamental macro reasons as to why AUD Swiss, Aussie Swiss is pushing to the upside because of that economic divergence in terms of inflation. Okay, we have different pictures of inflation, i.e. that's going to result in monetary policy divergence because the RBA are going to be potentially raising rates. So that's going to cause a difference, uh, further difference in the yield. Rates are being cut in Switzerland, but rates are going up in Australia. So there's a divergence here. So this pair, Aussie Swiss, has every reason to push to the upside. Now, when you look left here, We've seen what's uh, happened there on a monthly. You can see what's obviously pushing, trending to the upside now on a weekly. When you look left here from these previous levels, obviously this was back here in COVID, but from these previous levels, you can see the room that this has to potentially run now as this economic and monetary policy divergence picks up pace and expands. We have every room and right to push to the upside and continue if we top, if we're able to break out this top here, this supply area around 61 double O's, you can see there. All right, this could fly in towards sort of 64, 65 territory and potentially beyond as long as that play, that narrative remains the case. The only way this invalidates in terms of um, this pushing to the upside is if, for example, we have a large economic downturn, which could come say late next, uh, late this year or early next year. And then we see flows into safe havens, i.e. Swiss franc. Otherwise, right now, this remains a hot potential trade. Guys, I hope you found value in this video and showing you a current example of a potential opportunity in the market where we have an economic and a monetary policy divergence. As I've said to you before, guys, if you want more of this content, I'm going to need you to hit up that subscribe button for me. I want to breach this psychological 10K mark, right? We're sitting just below 10,000 subscribers. Hit that like button, drop a comment as well. This all helps um, and motivates me to want to produce more content and share more of my value. Other than that, Join the Discord below, stay lit, stay blessed, and let's get it.